Okay, welcome to the Exos workout of the day. I am Caitlin, and today we are gonna do a bunch of cardio and strength, so it's gonna be a good one. Um, we're gonna start off with a warm up. So, starting with your hands up in the air, you're going to walk out into an inchworm position, and then walk back up. So, really trying to stretch out those shoulders when you're raising those arms, walking out, stretching out the hamstrings, Engaging that core and coming back up. We'll do about five reps. Awesome. Going for about two more. Really nice. Next, we're going to go into a quad stretch. If you have something to hold on to, you can always hold on to a doorway, pulling that leg back. You're going to press that hip forward, pull that knee back. Get a good stretch in that quad, but also probably feel a little bit in your hip. Good. We'll switch sides. Try working on balance if you want to here, too. Good. We'll go back to the first side. Back to the other side. We'll do one more each way. Awesome. Next, we're doing a single leg RDL. So we're gonna put our weight in our left leg, kicking back our right. I like to put my hands out to the side, keep that back nice and flat, and then come up. We're gonna do three on one side. Three on the other, trying to focus on not letting your hips open or letting your back round. Work on that balance to start off today. Switching sides once you've done three. Good, one more. Awesome, we'll just do a couple cardio exercises and then we'll go right into it. So, jumping jacks, we're gonna go for 15, ready? And we're on. Really nice. We're gonna go right into high knees from here. Starting in three, two, one, good, right away. Gonna be a short and sweet warm up, and we'll kind of warm up the rest of the way once we get the workout started. And good, rest. Okay, grab a drink here, and I will start explaining. So, we are going to be doing 15 seconds of a cardio exercise, then we'll have 15 seconds rest, and then we'll be doing 30 seconds of a strength exercise, 15 seconds rest, okay? We're going down the line. We're gonna have six groupings. Once we get done, we'll get to have a nice breather, and we'll start round two. We're gonna be doing three rounds total. Each round is gonna have a little bit different timing as we go. So our first two exercises are seal jacks. So you're gonna have your hands out, jumping in and out here, like those jumping jacks, but your hands are in front. And then you're going into a reverse lunge with an overhead press. So um, for this workout, if you could grab a medium to heavy set and then a lighter set would be awesome. If you don't have two sets, that's fine. We will make it work. Okay. And we're going to, I'm gonna show you that reverse lunge with overhead press. So this will be your heavier set of weights. You'll do that reverse lunge and overhead press at the bottom. And then you switch sides. Reverse lunge, overhead press. Okay, so we are starting with those seal jacks. 15 seconds, 15 second break, 30 seconds of that reverse lunge with the overhead press, and then we're gonna switch right away from there. Ready, three, two, and one, seal jacks. We are on today. So if you're not all the way warmed up, you can slow it down here and step out to the side. Nice, there's three. Two, and one, good. 
I'm gonna grab those dumbbells, reverse lunge to an overhead press. We're going for 30 seconds on this one. Okay, getting ready. Three, two, and one, reverse lunge, overhead press at the bottom. Really focusing on that balance, staying in that front heel. Nice big step back. Good, halfway through here. Best reps. The weight lifting exercises, strength exercises can be a little slower than those cardio exercises. And good, perfect. And rest here. So our next two mountain climbers for our cardio. And then we're going into a dumbbell plank row to a push up. So you should all know mountain climbers, you're in that plank position, driving that knee up. That one's gonna be fast. Our second one is gonna be a plank row, row, push up. You can always do that on your knees too. Row, row, push up. Okay, we're gonna get started right away. Mountain climbers. We're gonna go in three, two, and one right here. 15 seconds, nice and quick. Yay, guys. Keep that body flat. Drive those knees up. Three, two, one, good. We're gonna go into that dumbbell row, row, push up. You can always do them on your knees if you need to. Getting ready, we're going for 30 seconds here. Three, two, and one. So nice tight core, row, row, and push up. You can always drop down to your knees on that push up if you need to. Really nice. Get one more full rep here. There's three, two, and one. Nice. Next one, base pogo over line. So we're drawing a line down the middle. Athletic stance, you're jumping side to side over that line. Next one, we're gonna be going into a sumo squat. So you'll have that heavier set of weights. So sumo squat. Hammer curl at the bottom, stand up. Sumo squat, hammer curl, stand up. Okay, we're gonna get ready for those base pogos. Starting in three, two, and one. Athletic stance, nice and quick over that line. Really good. Get a little lower and a little faster. Three, two, one, good. Awesome. Sumo squat with those hammer curls. So grab that heavier weight. We're hammer curling at the bottom. Ready, three, two, and one. Low, hammer curl, come back up. When you're staying low, keep that chest up the whole time. Perfect, keep going here. Go a little bit wider, set legs here, than a normal squat. Stay in your heels the whole time. Nice, there's three, two, and one. Woo, really, really good. Next one, we have two core exercises. So we're gonna be on our back for the first one, bicycles. These are gonna be nice and quick. And then we're moving into a cross crunch. So we're gonna be on our back, come up and across, hold for a second, and come down. Up and across, and hold. So take those second ones slower. Okay, we're starting on those bicycles, 15 seconds. Ready, three, two, and one. Going for speed here. Good, kicking that leg nice and low. Elbow comes across, engaging that core. 
And good, relax for 15. And then we'll go right into that cross crunch. Make every rep really deliberate. Ready, three, two, one. Here we go, up and across, hold and down. Really nice. Good, we're halfway through here. Holding for one to two seconds at the top. And then slowly letting yourself come down. Don't just fall down towards the ground. And good. Relax. Next one, we have lateral scissor jumps. So we're going to start at the side, just jumping forward and back and going laterally. If you don't have that much room, you can always stay in place, just jumping forward and back. Then we're going into a lateral lunge. So if you have one dumbbell, you can bring it to your chest and you're just going to step to the side, stay in that heel, and then you can step to the other side, back and forth, side to side. I'll try to stay in the frame. Okay, you guys, we're gonna get ready for that lateral scissor jump. Three, two, and one, nice and quick. Really good, bring that speed, 15 seconds, that's it. Nice, three, two, one, perfect, okay. Doing a lateral lunge. Side to side. Okay, getting ready. Three, two, and one. Good, so step into the side. Stay in that heel, sit back. Then you can switch to the other side. Really nice. Sometimes it helps me to sit back a little bit lower if I bring that front toe up, the leg that's extended. Really nice. Good, last few reps here. There's three, two, and one. Good. We have two more exercises to learn today. So, jump squats. 15 seconds. You all know these. It's a little squat. You're gonna explode up. Um, if jumping is not for you, if you're just doing little squats, nice and quick, without jumping. Then we are going into tricep kickbacks. So this is where you've got that lighter set of weights if you have it. Um, you'll have to bend those knees, elbows in, kick back, hold for a second, and then come back up, back and forth. Um, if you only have one heavy set of weights, you can always do an overhead tricep extension instead of one weight. Okay. Let's get rolling. Jump squats. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Here we go, 15 seconds. Nice and explosive finishing out round one here. Jumping as high as you can go. Nice, three, two, and one. Good, try some kickbacks. This one's gonna be for 30. Grabbing that lighter set of weights, or one weight overhead, for the overhead tricep extension. Ready, three, two, one, good. When you extend, you can hold your hands there for a second when they're straight to really engage those triceps. Awesome job, you guys. 15 seconds to go, and then we'll get a breather. Really nice, holding onto that form. There's three, two, and one. Woo. Awesome job. Grab a drink, you guys, walk it up. Okay, round one had a little bit of extra rest because I had to explain the exercises. For round two, we are going to add some time onto our strength exercises. 
So we're sticking with our 15 seconds of cardio, 15 seconds off. Then we're doing 45 seconds of strength and then 15 seconds off. So now you know all the exercises, we can go through a little bit quicker. Um, and yeah, modify as needed. Um, you can always take breaks. I know 45 seconds is a long period of time. So grab a lighter set of weights if you need to. Okay, we're gonna start at about 10. With our seal jacks and reverse lunge with the overhead press at the bottom. Okay, you guys, ready? Seal jacks, three, two, and one. Here we go. Right away, we're starting. Still only 15 seconds of that, on that cardio. Make it quick. Okay, three, two, one, good. Getting ready for that reverse lunge to overhead press. This one's made 45. Grabbing that medium or heavy set of weights. There's three, two, and one. Here we go, reverse lunge, overhead press at the bottom. Then switch sides. Really focusing on that form. Making sure your knee does not go over your toes. Okay, you guys, last few seconds here. There's three, two, and one. Nice. Next one's mountain climbers and then the dumbbell plank row row to a push up. Getting ready for those mountain climbers. Three, two, and one. Gonna be a little quicker in between the exercises this round. Driving those knees up nice and quick. There's three, two, one, good. Row, row, push up. If you need to modify this one, you can always do stand up, bent over row, 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 and then double arm row instead. Okay, three, two, and one, here we go. Row, row, and push up. Modify your knees on that push up if you need to. Really, really nice, guys. Fifteen seconds to go. Let's go for two more reps. Nice. There's three, two, and one. Whew. That was a killer. <laughs> okay, we have the base pogo over the line. And then we're going sumo squat to hammer curl. Base pogo, draw that line. Athletic stance, ready? Hammer on, here we go. Nice and quick. Good, little jumps, but they're fast and good. Grabbing those weights, sumo squat, and we're hammer curling at the bottom. Okay, three, two, and one. So, sumo squat, hammer curl, stand up. 45 seconds here, focusing on that form. If you need a little bit of a breather, if you need just a slight modification, you can always do a sumo squat, stand up, hammer curl to modify. Good. 15 seconds here. Finish this out. Longest round of the day. Nice. There's three, two, and one. Perfect. We have our bicycles and cross crunch next. Getting ready. Bicycles are quick. Starting at three, two, and one. Here we go. Nice. 
Yeah, guys, a little faster here. And good, relax. We're going into that cross crunch. Right arm up to that left leg to start. Take your time. And we're on right here, up and across, and back down. Trying to keep your leg as straight as you can. Good, taking your time on the way down. Last 15 here, making it a goal to slowly, slowly, slowly come down. Every vertebrae is controlled. And good, relax. We are going into our lateral scissor jumps and then our lateral lunge with one dumbbell. Okay, getting ready, standing up. Three, two, one, lateral scissor jumps. Add in those arms too. Bring that heart rate up a little bit more. Yeah, guys. Three, two, one. Good. Lateral lunge. Bring that weight to your chest. We're going to step to the side. Side to side. Stay in that heel. Okay. Three, two, one. There we go. Sitting in that heel. Coming across. Side to side. Try to keep that chest up. Really nice. Take your time on this one. Good, last 15 seconds. Best reps. Nice, there's three, two, and one, good. We have squat jumps, tricep extensions for our last one of this round. Okay guys, most explosive squat jumps. Let's see how high you can get here. Ready, three, two, and one, here we go. Driving up, jumping towards that ceiling. Three more reps, there's one, two, and three, nice. Really good, tricep extensions or tricep kickbacks here. Going for 45 this time. So if you have that light set of weights, grab it. And we're on, hold for a second when your arms are extended. Good, actively engaging those triceps, keeping that back nice and flat. Really nice job, you guys. We have 15 to go here. Nice. There's three, two, and one. Awesome. Grab a drink, you guys. We have one more short round to go. That's it. Okay. So our last round of the day, it's gonna be 15 seconds of our cardio. Going right into 15 seconds of our strength. No break in between, so really, really quick in between those. Then you'll get a 15 second break to move to the next set. So last round, only four and a half minutes. And we gotta get started right away. <laughs> It'll be good. Okay, so we're gonna be starting with those seal jacks and then right into that reverse lunge with the overhead press.
So the shortest round of the day. That means it's the most explosive. I want it to be your best round too. Okay. Seal jacks. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Nice and quick, you guys. Last round. Really nice. Finish it out. Here's three, two, and one. Good. Reverse lunge, overhead press. No time to rest in between. Right into it. Nice. Three, two, and one. Really good here. We're going into mountain climbers next. Mountain climbers, and then we have that row, row, push up. So getting your weights ready. Three, two, and one. Mountain climbers. Good. Dragging that knee up. Good. Three, two, one. Good. Row, row, push up. Row, row, and push up. 15 seconds of this one. Nice. Three, two, and one. Rest. We have our base pogos over the line. And then we have our sumo squat to hammer curl. So drawing that line down the middle. Ready? And we're on. Right here, base pogos. That's as ones get. Get a little lower. Three, two, one. Good. Sumo squat to hammer curl. Here we go. Sumo squat, hammer curl, hand up. 15 seconds, super short for this one. Get in three quality reps. And good, relax. Woo! Bicycles and cross crunch are next. Getting ready. We're going in three, two, and one. Bicycles. Getting ready for that cross crunch. In three, two, one, good. Up and across and down. Best form, you guys. Finish this workout out strong. And good, relax. Really nice. We have those lateral scissor jumps and lateral lunges. So have one dumbbell, nice and close. Getting ready for the scissor jumps. Three, two, one, we're on. Nice and quick. Yeah, guys, faster here, last round. Three, two, one, good. Okay, let's get two lateral lunges each side. Sitting in that heel. Side to side. Really good. And good. Relax for 15. Okay, guys. Squat jumps, tricep extensions. Getting ready. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Last 30 seconds of the day. High as you can go. Keep that chest up. Three, two, one. Good. Tricep kickbacks or tricep extensions. Woo! And we're on. Yeah, guys. About five seconds to go here. The last few reps. There's three, two, and one. Woo. Really, really nice job, you guys. Walk it out, grab a drink. Ah. 
Awesome. I really appreciate you guys coming today. You have a couple minutes left for stretches, which is great. So when you're ready, come back in front. Make sure you grab your drink. If you need to walk it off a little more, just listen to the stretches and you can do them on your own with the five minutes in between class. Okay, so reaching your hands up high as you can. Then you're gonna reach down towards your feet or towards the ground. Your feet can be nice and wide. Just relaxing there. Feeling some of the tension release from your hamstrings and your back. And then we're gonna sit down into our heels, into a squat. You can bring your feet a little bit wider if you need to. Putting your hands or your elbows in between your knees, pressing out, chest stays up. Good, we'll come back to that bent over position. Hands are trying to touch the ground. Legs are straight or almost straight. And head is relaxed. Good, we'll sit back into those heels in that squat position, that low squat. Really trying to open up that chest and keep that back straight here. Good, we'll do one more. Back in that bent position. See if you can straighten those legs a little bit more for this last one. And then sitting down. Perfect. We're gonna slowly come up. We're gonna go into that lateral squat position or lateral lunge. So sitting in that heel, trying to feel a nice stretch in that inner thigh. And then we'll go over to the other side. Good, back and forth just a couple times here. We're gonna stand, elbows up. You're gonna bring your elbows back, opening up that chest and pinching your elbows back as far as you can. And back forward. Let's do three of these as well. Perfect, once you're done there, you're gonna reach up and over to the side, getting a nice stretch to that shoulder and hip. Over the other side. And we'll just do one more each way. Awesome, thank you, thank you for coming to class today. As we noted, um, we are opening 701 Fitness on Tuesday, which we are very excited about. So we hope you can come in in person, but if you don't feel comfortable, that is totally fine. We are going to continue our virtual classes. So keep coming here and see you again tomorrow at Muscle Madness in the morning. Thank you. Thanks, Caitlin. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Caitlin. And express apps in a few minutes. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. Thank you.